Hi guys, what's in store for this video? Well, this is about the goat farm that we have started. And I believe that we are doing well with this effort. We are actually making them very fat because we are feeding them all day long. And we have vast of supply of food, the grasses, the green grasses in the surroundings. And we can choose either napier, we can choose either this uh, sugarcane-like grass is also very delicious. And this is what makes them very fun. For today's video, allow me to tell you something about the maintenance for our goats. Well, we have to supplement the health of our goats because they are caged. So I have here the calcium and the iron, and then we will inject all of them, especially the one that has given birth. So I believe that aside from the injection, we can also pasture them from time to time. And this is what we're going to do also today. We will bring them out and of course, we will have a technique in doing this because they are not anymore tied. So the tendency is they will escape. So we will tie the buck because I know that if we can control the buck, which I named Rudy, all the movements also of the does will be controlled because they will follow the buck. So meaning that if you will bring out the buck from this area towards the field, then they will follow. And I hope that my anticipation is right. Right. Sorry. Okay, Rudy, you're done. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is not my first time to inject animals and the principle or the underlying principle is to get their trust. So, of course, if they're harassed, they will actually resist, not because it's painful, but because of the threat that they felt. So we have to establish their trust. And you look at what happened. We were able to inject them all with ease meaning that they don't actually resist of the procedure since we already have gotten the trust. And we're doing this twice every three months. The regular dose of this iron and calcium would certainly do good for the health of our goats. Sangit. <coughs> You guys can see Anna. I'm really amused with this kid because she started eating grasses. I did not see her eating grass inside the cage, but when she was allowed to roam around, she learned eating grasses for the first time. So this is the nature really of the goats and they are bright animals. I can say they're really bright animals. And you will see that our goats are now enjoying the vastness of the area and the healthy grasses. You will see here, that 
they are concentrating on eating the healthy grasses. And this is what I said, that from time to time, we will allow them to enjoy the heat of the sun because this heat of the sun can also do something for their health. This is the natural vitamins that they needed. So you will see that we have nine goats actually and many are pregnant. And for this year, we are aiming to have at least 30 to 50 goats. I believe that we can do this because some of our does, actually four of them are already pregnant. Then if we will multiply that by two, that becomes eight because all the those that are pregnant are not anymore first timers they are already mamas they have experience already delivering kids so i expect that each of them will deliver at least two well that's an expectation but the good thing here is that we were able to establish a goat house and then we were able to do a system which they like the kind of feeding the kind of grasses the water, the injection, the vitamins, and the pellets are the things that they really like. So I am quite confident now that somehow we were able to establish a good system for our goat farm. And I have something special, very special to inform you. We will use our rolling store. We will do the selling of our fish in the Bolivarg and this is a nice place. This is our first ever vlog that's selling guppies outside using this rolling store and it's so exciting. I don't know if we can sell this one now because the people here are not used to, you know, having this kind of store and I hope that they will like it. They will patronize our products. This is a venture actually that we have to try. This is a good business only if we can you know, convince people to buy our products, then that's it. So we've got here our first customer. This guy would like to buy our fish. Okay, okay. 50. Selling this at 50. You can choose anywhere. This 50 peso, 50, 50, 50, away 100. And that's yes, and then. Like this one? Yes. Ah, very good. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> the first sale. Our second batch of customers, they're asking for different types of fish. I'm selling them Oscar, but they wanted the uh, beta fish. Yes. Half moon uh, tomorrow will we'll come back here. Welcome, Welcome to, to Dexter's World. So I'm very proud to sell this rancho. This is a male and a female rancho, and this is bought by our subscribers. If you're a subscriber here, you will have or you will enjoy a discount of 50 percent, and that's hers already. Thank you. <laughs> This place is called Bolivard and this is one of the iconic place in Sumbuanga City. And as you can see here, it's uh, beside the sea and it's near the port area. This is actually situated in the middle of many universities here. This is Wemsu and Pilar College and many people are passing here. That's why I intended to visit this place in order to sell our, our products. And, I'm so glad that many people have recognized us here. This is our first time to do this business here. That's why not so many people are actually used to buying our products. But there are some already that have bought our 
our fish. And in the future, we will also sell fish foods and uh, aquarium accessories right here in this small store. And as we develop this farm, I envision to have many animals where people can just visit here and buy our animals and you know, observe the things that we do, the systems, the kind of measures that we do to address issues and problems. I'm very willing to share our experiences to people who are still learning or people who are already have vast of experience but still would like to you know, observe the way how we deal with our animals here in the farm. So that's a positive declaration and I would like to ask you if you are not subscribed to this channel, may I ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos every other day. And if you will, of course, subscribe, you will be notified of our regular uploads. I would like to see you in my next video on here at Dexter's World. <laughs>